Hey guys, it's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, today is a very busy day because earlier today we made a vaccination to our native chicks and this vaccination is really very important because we are approaching rainy days and we are introducing the vaccine of the gumboro. This gumboro will protect them from contracting borsal disease and it's very important. I'm planning to make another coop for this native chicken and we are also anticipating to harvest more than 30 chicks of the turkey and 30 chicks of this native chicken for this month, the month of May. Today's video, allow me to share with you the construction of our rabbit coop. Well, in the previous video, I promised you that I'm going to update about the construction of this rabbit coop. And my intention is to raise more than 200 rabbits for our rabbitry. Rabbitry nowadays as business is really a good source of income because this is a real and very delicious substitute meat for chicken meat. And you will see that we are actually fast-tracking the construction of this because our cages right inside in this chicken coop are already destroyed. They're really eating the nylon screen and that's my problem. That's why I said we have to fast-track this one. I help a lot in the construction of this rabbit coop and I also help in the mixing of this uh, cement and the sand and the filing of the hollow blocks. This is really a tiresome work but I am very inspired to do this because I'm looking for a very beautiful rabbitry that can be done right here in the farm. Well, this place is really a good place for rabbit farming because if you will see over there, we have so many grasses and these grasses are their favorites. The construction of this rabbit house will cost us around 80 to 100,000 pesos after its full completion because I'm planning to have a two-story of these cages. At the ground level will be the place for our breeders. We will allow them to deliver their babies on the ground. I know that many of you would like to disagree raising these rabbits on the ground but I have tried this many times and it has a good result because these rabbits are really very relaxed when you are going to raise them on the ground especially during the time of the delivery of the babies. If they will deliver the babies just on the ground they will dig, they will build a nest and then they will cover the babies with the soil. And that's an amazing fact that I have discovered out of breeding these rabbits. I hope we can complete the final construction of this housing within this week because as what I have said this is really a must we have to do these things because our chicken are also hatching many many chicks and I would like to use the cage right there inside and over here will be another coop 
in the future for our turkey and the native chicken so you will see that the rabbits are here but i temporarily place this over here just for the purpose of this video and you will note that they are eating their grasses and they are very relaxed when they are allowed to lie on the ground and maybe you will ask Dexter how would you clean this one well compared to elevated cages there are much work to be done in cages on the ground we have to remove the dirt and even their waste every day to prevent these rabbits from contracting disease and that's a tiresome work but it's not a problem because we will assign one person to do all the cleaning activities every day and of course we will also train one person to breed all these rabbits well i really would like to share my knowledge about breeding knowledge about how to raise these rabbits and all kinds of farm animals and that's the intention of this channel for me to be able to share the technologies that i have personally learned out of personal experience maybe you will ask dexter what are the materials used for this well i used 500 pieces of this concrete hollow blocks 30 sacks of cement and i also used some 20 pieces of this uh, iron bars and i also used 40 pieces of this galvanized iron and this cost us around 60,000 pesos including the labor this kind of cages is far more lower than buying the welded wire materials and hanging cages and i project that if we can complete this one our expenses will reach around 100,000 pesos because i am going to make another level over here the second level of our cages where we are going to raise the babies the bunnies that are weaned from their mothers so this will accommodate around 200 both 100 of this side and 100 babies of this size for our fattening so that's gonna be a very ambitious plan for dexter's world farm well my personality is really very positive and i would like to share this kind of thinking to our viewers if you have a plan if you have a desire then act on it find ways on how to realize this plan little by little you will really have it i'm dreaming with this kind of rabbit coop and now it came to a realization so i'm really very happy and whatever the result of this endeavor will always redound to the benefit of those also who would like to do the rabbit farming i hope that i will become successful i will tell you the pros and cons the disadvantages and the advantages of this kind of rabbit racing so that if i will commit a mistake then i will tell you that it's not good but if i will become successful of course you will expect that i will really share to you the technologies my experiences and other things in order for us to become successful so guys you will note that this box has one division this will be further divided into four so we will again put another division over here and each of this cage will now measure around three feet by three feet so it's a perfect square three feet by three feet for each dough that will deliver their babies all pregnant doughs will stay here and will deliver their babies right here on the ground so let's figure out how much we will earn out of racing at least 32 doughs here Let's say that each of the dough will produce five kids. So if you will multiply this 32 mother times five, that will produce 160 kids. The selling price of the kit is 500 pesos. If you are going to multiply 
that 160 to 500 pesos, then that's a lot of money. By just spending a little amount of the food and maybe the salary of your caretaker and also the maintenance. So you will really earn a lot of income if you are selling these kits as pets. And if this will not be sold, of course, we can allow this to grow and in the future we can have a business of rabbit meats and that's a good business also because rabbit meats are now beginning to have a place in our local market so many people are now learning to eat the rabbit meats because rabbit meats are low in cholesterol and they are very healthy to eat this is how i see things about this rabbitry that's why i'm encouraging you if you are a pet lover or maybe you are a businessman that you think about helping the Filipino people about the issues of the food security, maybe this channel is right for you. And uh, if you are new to this channel, you can subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be updated of the development of this rabbit farming. So thank you for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos and please do subscribe as what I have said only here at Dexter's World.